Hello friends, it's Adul Say Sloan. If you enjoy seeing me and listening to me bother Josh every week with the very silly things in a song, then you should come see me tell the comedy jokes at the Arlington Draft House, December 2nd and 3rd with Lace Larrabee from America's Got Talent. Also, I will be at the Creek and the Cave in Austin, Texas on December 9th and the 10th with guess what? Lace Larrabee and she's still from America's Got Talent. So listen, what I need y'all to do is I need y'all to send in these ideas, okay? What do you want to hear me and Josh talk about? Drop them on the socials. Drop them on the YouTubes. Drop them anywhere you want. You can DM me and Josh, okay? And if you're an attractive single man with a very good job, you can just DM me to say hi. Come see me do stand-up. Come tell me and Josh what you want us to talk about. And we can have a good time. Okay, I love you. Bye-bye. Hey everybody, welcome to Hold Up. This is a show about not much, really. Like, it's it's big topics, but big topics to us. Nothing going on in the world. It's just things that we feel very strongly about. And I am your co-host, Josh Johnson, writer for The Daily Show. I am joined by... Dulce Sloan, correspondent from The Daily Show, lover, fighter, and all-around bad bitch. I'm in my crop top phase, friends. And today we're talking... <laughs> I also about, do comedy. I do stand up. I act. Oh I God. sing. I enjoy long walks on the beach. What do you like to do? Today we're talking about Walmart versus Target. All and right. That's my favorite. I love a Walmart. How do you feel about Walmart? Do you enjoy Walmart? Because Josh is going to say the wrong answer. And the I know wrong people answer. are going to judge me. Right, people are going to judge me. Let's get into the episode right now, then. If you're going to come at me sideways like that, like try to do it close to the camera, like it's all sweet and stuff. But really, it's a dig at me. And I I'm always like, recognize a dig when a dig is happening. <laughs> okay? I brought my shovel, baby boy. Did you bring <laughs> your shovel? Are you having a good day? I'm hungry. So tell the people what side you're on today. Listen, if the people know me and know what kind of classy ass don't, don't do girl this. I am and what fine southern woman I am as I walk in nature, they know I'm team Walmart. Wally, 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 Wally world. Wally, we at the Walmart. We at the Walmart. We at the, you haven't seen the, we at the Walmart. I haven't We at the Wally, to Wally, see. Wally, 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 Wally world. You didn't see the girls. Dances. I have not cared to see it. But they got their Louisiana Purchase Card. You know what a Louisiana Purchase Card is, don't you? And I am on the side of Target. Because you like... Because what? Because what? Because here's the thing. This thing, <laughs> this thing, I've been excited for this episode. I've been excited for so long. Because so many times, mm-hmm. there'll be a thing where we, we're, we're going, you know, uh, head to head. And yeah. I've got my work cut out for me. Right? Yeah. I truly am like, okay, how am I gonna? Because, you know, your your thing will be like uh, very, very solid. Right? So then I'll be like, It's okay. like puppies versus shoes. I get it. I'm yeah. Gonna, and I'm, I'm gonna and I'll be like, I believe in my side. But how yes. do I convince the people? Yes. With this one, this is the first time where I feel like, you know, us being authentic to ourselves yes. has has truly uh, kicked your legs from under you, all right? But the thing because is, Target being our, <laughs> versus hold on. Walmart. But if we're being authentic to ourselves, yeah, yeah. you know for the history of your life, mm-hmm. up until you left the great state of Louisiana, mm-hmm. you was a Walmart nigga. And don't play me. And don't Ay. play. You spent Ay. many a childhood days, Ay. Ay. many a Sunday, Hey. Many a Sunday hey. in a Walmart. Don't been, you remember when they put in the groceries? I've been fighting my whole life to escape Walmart. All right. No, no, I've no, been, no. I've been working to get that target in. I've been look, look, all my don't life I you... had to fight. Okay? <laughs> you know what? And I never like to say this, but Josh, you forgot where you come from. That's hey. what happened. Hey, That's... I hope I have amnesia. <laughs> <laughs> I have no problem getting that part of my past. Listen, I remember in high school, I think it was the first day of my senior year in high school, I had this very cute little like outfit. It's like mm-hmm. a blue top and it buttoned up the back because I could like sort of like open like just a few of the buttons, you know, mm-hmm. just to basically let my ass fit in the shirt. And um, but also, you know, give a give a boy a, a peak of a lower back situation. <laughs> um, I was 17 after all. 
and this cute little like matching like blue and white skirt. <laughs> Hey, wait, I'm so sorry. I'm so but, sorry. Wait, wait. Because I'm not laughing at your thing now. I'm wait. laughing. The, the fact that you said situation <laughs> is so funny. Just because, just because, I, I'm, I'm so sorry to digress, but if I, I want to make sure I remember it so that we can get to your thing and then get back to the. But like when I was in high school, you said you were 17, right? Yeah. When I was in high school, there was a guy I knew who had a crush on this girl. Yeah. And so we're all, in this scenario, we're all 16 or 17, right? Yeah. And then he was like, uh, she had worn a short sleeve shirt that day. And he was just like, he was he was already admiring her top to bottom, but he was like, even her arms are sexy, you know? And uh, and then he was like, even her elbows, and the elbows is the knuckle of the arm. And I laughed so hard. As you should have. As you should have. The knuckle of the As arm. As you fucking should have. It's the knee of the arm, the el- or the elbow. The knee is the elbow of the leg. It's the same. Yeah. It's the knuckle. The- it's, it's a joint that bends. Yeah. I remember we, they had us because I could never figure out why they wouldn't let us wear like we always thought it was stupid that they wouldn't let us wear like spaghetti straps or some schools or bra strap mm-hmm. couldn't show because why would we teach boys to have respect for girls? We could just cover girls up. Yeah, you yeah, know? yeah. Apparently, apparently like that's the ant- move. Right. Like I'm not a I'm not an antique car. Why the fuck am I under this drape? Yeah. So, that's true. Listen, and so and, you were had the lower back situation going. Had a lower back situation, and so this. One of the popular girls who, when she was talking to me, I couldn't figure out why she was talking to me. Because I wasn't popular, but I was friends with the people who were popular. Also, mm-hmm. I'd really never spoken to this girl before. Mm-hmm. And I had, and you know, like the little, like, they had these beaded sandals that came out. Because, like, remember those beaded bracelets? They were like, this is quartz, this is jade, this is da 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 They put it on shoes, so it's like blue matching flip flop shoes. And I always wore blue. Um, if we didn't live in the suburbs, you'd have thought I was a gang member. Um, but I just really like blue. And this girl comes to me and she's like, I really love your outfit. And I was like, oh, thank you. She's like, where'd you get it from? I was like, Walmart. And she's like, you got clothes from Walmart? And I was like, bitch, this outfit was cute before you found out it was from Walmart. And it's going to be cute after you find out it's from Walmart. <laughs> and then this other popular girl standing there was like, her clothes are from Walmart. And I was like, and they still cute. So what? Yeah. Look, I'm not saying Listen, that I'm Walmart doesn't have good product. No, I'm, I'm not, saying well, what hmm. happens in a Walmart. No, 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 no. No, listen, mm-hmm. this is how I knew Target was some regular shit and people trying to make it better than it was. When people started calling Target Target, I was like, nah, bitch, hey. this is a regular ass fucking store because hey. guess what? These cheap ass jeans in here is the same cheap ass jeans in a Walmart. We're not playing this mm. game. All Target did was make hey. their prices a little higher and then they're like, okay, we got red and white. We're going we're gonna, to we're gonna put a filter on these lights. Mm-hmm. We're going to make it because the thing is a Walmart is soothing as a Walmart is for me. It is slightly chaos, even when it's slightly calm down, even when. <laughs> but you have to understand a country ass Walmart. Because mm-hmm. I went to college in country ass town, I went to college okay. in Gaines, Gainesville, Georgia. Right. Mm-hmm. And there was a mall across the street. On a Sunday, people would park at the mall. And walk across the street to the Walmart shopping center because there was no fucking parking in that Walmart. And I'm going to tell you what, it was not as chaotic as a city. A city Walmart is wild. I go into Target and get a bunch of shit I don't need. You, We all know you go into Target, you get one thing, you spend $200, right? Uh, that, that's that's no, not no, correct. That's what I'm saying. You go into Target to get one thing. Uh, oh, oh, I thought it, the thing leaving. cost $200. No. Yeah, yeah. And then you end up, you. you're like, what the fuck? happen here Mm -hmm. if you spend two hundred dollars on walmart you brought half the store that look look at look at one one of the things i I was discussing with some of the producers even before we started was the black friday situation at a target or a walmart right now the black friday they're both chaos i've been to both I've been to I've, both. I've been to both i even went to a best buy black friday but i will say that a lot of people forget the levels of Black Friday chaos, okay? Because Best Buy is up here because we already come through with all the electronics, right? Right. Target is actually much lower because people forget that they have the same electronics as Walmart. So to your point before of like uh, Target just has what Walmart has, but it's more expensive and everything, I don't go to Target for my electronics at all 
you know. I don't go to any, I don't go to Target or Walmart for electronics. I've bought TVs from Walmart. That's not true. I bought a TV from Walmart. But I knew that I could get it cheaper at a Walmart than I could. Because the thing about Target is like, Target's like, okay, in California, Target is sometimes an anchor store in a shopping mall. Mm-hmm. Because of the yeah. demise of a Steers or a Macy's or a JC yeah. yeah. They become an anchor store because they've been able to adjust their aesthetic to not really be like, because listen, if I can buy wine, draws, and cat litter in here, I don't give a fuck how you adjust this lighting. I'm in a Walmart. You see, like, I can still... Mm, now, th- this is, this is I, where I'm we're going to disagree. I'm buying power tools. I'm buying dog food. People blame Walmart for, like, oh, but what about the mom and pop stores in an area? Does Target not do the same thing? If the Target comes in your neighborhood, mm. if you were a clothing store, if you were a small electronics store, if you did whatever the fuck that they sell on a Target. Isn't Target doing the same thing? It's a big box store. It's like when you're a butcher or some shit and then a grocery in a full grocery store mm-hmm. moves in your neighborhood. Now, isn't that the same shit? It's not quite the same though because Walmart goes much much further in that Walmart and this is this is even a credit to your point. All right, this is something that I will concede up top. Okay, right. A Walmart for all of its sections in the overall store, especially a super center, right? Yeah, it has a mom and pop of each thing in there, whereas Target does not. So Target is not going to come through with a full butcher and certain meats that are on sale that week or whatever. Uh, Target also doesn't have the bakery section; it just has the things already laid out, baked. You know, right. So my thing is for the for the mom and pop situation, I do consider that more of a Walmart thing because Target is just being the box. Like here, here's yeah, because like here's all know? our line. Yeah, because it's like because I remember when they started putting grocery stores in a Target, mm-hmm. and I'm like, okay, so you're gonna close even the giant grocery store? Because the thing is, it's like Target feels like it's not trying hard enough with their grocery section because there's not. It's like there's not enough food in it. And then Walmart says, like, we're going to, like, Target's like a section of the store. Walmart's half the fucking store. Target's a selective lady. All Tar- right. She's well, not t- out here loose with all the groceries, with with all of the electronics, with all. She's not trying to be everybody everywhere doing everything. All right. She has her particulars. No, she sells everything under, those. she sells everything under a private label. Mm-hmm. It, mm-hmm. But... You know that a lot of that private label stuff is made by larger companies. Hundred percent. Yeah, I'm not. I'm not denying that at all. I don't think that there's a Target in the back of Target that's making all the Target stuff. You know what I mean? These aren't like Keebler elves doing Target things, right? I understand. Car- Target is very good at selling Target things. Mm-hmm. Walmart is very good at selling everybody's things. Everybody's things. Walmart's but, like, we got it. But the thing is, like, with Target, so it's like, because, you know, there's the great value brand of Walmart. We're fully aware. It's like the private mm-hmm. select of your Kroger slash Ralph's. Mm-hmm. We know that people have generic store brands of things. I can say that the um, I would rather have a Kroger chocolate sandwich cookie than an Oreo any day of the fucking week. Yeah. Yeah, there are, there are things exactly like that 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 all of these stores do very well. This is you touched on like something trail really mixes. Important. Ta- yeah, Target is yeah. good. Target that that whole aisle, that large section of mixed nuts of various yeah. backgrounds and denominations. Uh huh. I need a bigger cart. I need a bigger buggy. Wait, do you call them carts or buggies? I think I called it a buggy when I was little, and I was in mm-hmm. Louisiana. I call it a mm-hmm. cart now. Maybe you got out of the South before uh, earlier than I did. Because mm. I didn't leave till I was like 33, 34. Now I call them buggies. And I have to, like, if I'm around certain people, mm-hmm. I have to make sure I change my terminology. Because people, if you just call a cart a buggy, people are acting like, yeah. like I didn't deny the Holocaust. I just fucking said it was a but. The way that people react to certain things being called something, because like other day on Instagram, I realized my mother calls sunglasses shades. Mm-hmm. And I've always called them sunglasses, and she's always called them shades. But I always knew what the fuck she was talking about. 
Mm-hmm. And sometimes they go, oh, I can't find my shades. And people go, you like, huh? Huh? I do like the fact that Walmart's like, here's the stuff. Mm-hmm. We have the stuff. Mm-hmm. Target, on the other hand, is trying to... I don't believe Target. As in, you have... You're curating things. You're creating a vibe. Now, mind you, is a Walmart employee helpful? Absolutely the fuck not. Not usually. It's the old person at the door, mm-hmm. right? Mm-hmm. And then if you're a country Walmart, they're they're slightly helpful. If mm-hmm. you find an older employee, yes, they know where things are. Someone could be stocking something in the grocery section and you can ask them where something is and they will go, I don't know. You're like, I'm sorry. I shouldn't have asked you. You're a Walmart employee. You don't know where anything the fuck is. You need something out of electronics. You're going to wait 20 minutes for somebody to show the fuck up. Or two, you never know. That's why there's you can't well, like if you're going to get something like I need a TV out of a Walmart, call ahead, order it ahead, do so, help yours, help you, help you. Because mm-hmm. sometimes a Walmart employee either is they're not going to do anything, or they're the most helpful fucking person you've ever met. There's rarely an in between. They're mm-hmm. walking through the store with you hand in fucking hand, right? Well, we gonna get some of this. So we gonna do this. What you gonna need? Ba da 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 da. Cause I can tell you, as someone who was on the road heavy doing them colleges and shit, when Super Walmart started closing, mm-hmm. I was like, what happened to the? You're telling me I can't walk in this Walmart at three in the morning and get some popcorn, some ice cream, and dog food. That's what you're telling me. You're telling me I can't walk into a Walmart at two forty five in a good Christian morning. Okay, and get three steaks, a USB cable, and a wrench. Is that what we're saying now? This is my issue with Walmart because you you've touched on it already. Mm. Walmart has everything the way that you put it. Now, it you know it's it's for everybody, mm-hmm. and um, and why isn't Target is the question. So is the internet. The internet is for everybody. And, and you've already look, talked about the fact that it shouldn't be either. <laughs> yeah, look look what it is. Look at what it is. So you're saying the target so target discriminates. Please go on. It's Josh. not it's not about discrimination. What it's about it? not having every single thing so that you're not mixing so many different demographics of people. There are people that come to Walmart with specific emergencies at play that don't show up to Target because they know Target doesn't have it. Because Target doesn't have a pharmacy, is that what you're saying? No, no, no. It's not just a pharmacy thing. I think some targets do have a pharmacy. I think do, they do because CVS is in some. Yeah, way. yeah, yeah. Um, but when you have someone that needs a particular store that goes to a Walmart instead, and you do that enough times to where you create a Venn diagram of people who, oh man, I'm doing a project on my house, I need to grab some power tools. Oh, I have a wedding, I need to pick up some uh, plastic cups. Oh, I have all this stuff, right? And then you put it all in one place, you get the Walmart, you get the but chaos. But Target has power tools. Target. They not have only does, some. But not only does Target have a party they don't have section. Variety. Target not only has a par- has a party section, they have their own private label party supplies. Mm-hmm. Right? So Target picks and chooses what, like, the trail mix aisle? Beautiful. Mm-hmm. Uh, you've never seen macadamias used in such a way. Now, is this a $35 bag of nuts? Yes. Yeah. Are you gonna buy it? Yes. Because you tried not to. But you're like... Ah. But this is my thing. This is this is this is, you're you're touching on exactly what I'm talking about. They have a whole trail mix aisle. They actually don't end up having as much of a sliced peaches aisle as Walmart. So Walmart will have a whole aisle of like the sliced fruits in the cups for the kids that you pack in the lunches, right? Target's got like two choices. Hold on. The way that you said the fruits are the sliced for the kids and the packs of the lunches, it's just me. <laughs> It's like when people who do Cosby jokes. <laughs> <laughs> no, you got the sit for the kids and the slice for the... I can't do Cosby. Um, because... I mean, hopefully none of us can do Cosby. Truly. It's, a, it's, a, it's an impression that brings no joy. <laughs> I saw a comic doing an Obama impression the other day, and he's not even 30 years old. Yeah. And I was like, what are we? Mm-hmm. 
he's very he's a very funny comic. Mm-hmm. Um, but I saw him doing Obama, and then another comic was like, "Ooh, topical material," and we both, but we had I think we had to walk out of Fat Black because we were both like. But the, I was I like, he wasn't old enough to vote for Obama. You yeah. were, it was probably in elementary school. I was a grown ass woman dancing in the street to my president is black when Obama got elected. I was out of college. This nigga wasn't probably out of diapers. And I can't even, I was like, how long did you wait to do mm-hmm. this? Like maybe he was out, pull ups perhaps. I don't know. But he was wet to bed age. Well, fucking Obama was president, and he's yeah. doing a suppression. He was like, at least wearing the overalls. He's at least wearing overalls. You're at least you're still in your ash gosh be gosh. Yeah, which yeah. is what I always accuse Opio of wearing. By the way, um, I, I think this is my this is my my other issue is that you're not taking full responsibility. I gotta take responsibility for shit. I don't know what them niggas was talking about. On on the Walmart side, you're not taking responsibility for the culture. You're not taking responsibility for the because Target absolute doesn't chaos. have an auto center. Okay, the thing an is, auto I ca- okay, All right. I can't be mm-hmm. responsible for the chaos mm-hmm. of a place. Oh, I can't you can. be responsible. No, I can't. If you pick it, if you pick it up the place, ne- I've my never place, my place with no chaos. I have almost no chaos. You know, okay? there's chaos. In a, I've seen chaos in a Target. It was at a you, lower volume, but it was a low. It was fucking chaos. Because, I would much rather take chaos at a lower volume than the chaos of a loud volume. If we got chaos up full volume, I might die. Listen, I'm not. I'm not a survivor like that. I hear you. Okay. I hear you. If I am in a Walmart and things go left, you'll say. <laughs> <laughs> you you will be speaking to your cartoon about me in the past tense, okay? <laughs> if things go sideways in a target, I just know to step to the right and it will not be my problem anymore. I there is because of the price points mm-hmm. between a target. Thank you. And a Walmart. Yes. You are dealing with demographic different demographics of people. Mm-hmm. Because Target forgot where they came from, okay? Target used to be very affordable. And I mm-hmm. looked and I was in Target one day and I was like, what the fuck? I remember being at Target and there was another woman, me and this other woman were standing there in like the home decor aisle. Mm-hmm. Like, and I picked up this like accent pillow and it was 50 fucking dollars. Yeah. And I was like, is this pillow $50? And I heard this woman go, what? Turned. She's like, yeah. what? And I said, this pillow's $50. And she was like, why? And I said, why? And so me and another grown adult mm-hmm. were like, I was like, this, it's a fucking, we're in, I was like, well, I'm not in Macy. I'm not in, I'm like, I'm not in Nordstrom's. Mm-hmm. If any store that's not fucking Nordstrom's gives me a $50 pillow, mm-hmm. it should be burned out. Like, how dare you? Let me... I, I, How fucking de- first you. of all, a fifty dollar pillow in general as a concept, as a movement, as a label, nonsense. There's not gold in this pillow. This pillow is not gonna hold me at night. This pillow is not gonna. I'm not gonna pour water on it, and all of a sudden it's the man of my fucking dreams. It's all made in China. Why the fuck is this fifty dollars? My issue is that okay. Let me. Let me th- this is this is where I I, I feel like we have you're to deal- address. You're dealing with trauma, okay? In the same way that you didn't fuck with sweet potato pies because you've had bad interactions with sweet potato pies. Uh huh. You don't fuck with Walmart because you've been working your whole life to not be a Walmart person. I, on the other hand, have always embraced the Walmart lifestyle. Will uh, will continue to embrace the Walmart life because when I tried to become a Target person, I realized it requires too much drinking of wine. And the overpaying for regular ass things. Let me. You're still me, a fucking department store. Let me. Let me explain. All right. Live your um, life. Live your life. But you know what? Targets out here, they're not helping. They're not doing they, the Lord's work. They're, they're absolutely they're, helping. They're trying to make it's you think they're better the than work. what you are. You put a Starbucks in this bitch, and you think you better. Kmart was out here selling hot dogs and shit. We ain't nobody got no love for Kmart no more. And what did Kmart do to anybody? How did they go out of business <laughs> as a concept? I've really always tried to think about that. My thing is, you're missing the taxes and fees associated with peace of mind. What are you talking about? So, yes. Target don't sell insurance? 
you're going to Target, all right? But you know what you didn't see when you went to Target? You didn't see a proposal on aisle eight. You didn't see what? someone trying on clothes that do not fit them. All right. You're yes. Not seeing... that's, no, no, no. Every clothing store, every yeah. store that sells clothing mm-hmm. has people trying on clothes that do not fit them. And oh, I'm talking talk- about egregiously not fit. I don't mean checking to see if it fits. I'm talking about in college, we would go to Walmart. Right. And one of my friends would just see if he could fit into a small when he knew he was an XL just to walk out of the dressing room and we all get a good laugh because he looks like a big baby. And it was funny. It was, it was very funny. You know, he was spot that, on. I've seen people do that in an old Navy. So I'm not. <laughs> Clearly there is an epidemic in this country of people trying on clothes they know don't fit them. Because it's the, it's the Chris, old Chris Farley fat guy in a little, you know, yeah, in a little yeah. coat. People yeah. love seeing a grown man's belly button. Uh, mm-hmm. Especially if he's in a shirt that makes him, if he's Winnie Pooh Donald Duck in this shit. Mm-hmm. People love, no one's asking out here asking you for Mickey Mouse. They're asking you for Donald Duck. That's what they want. Winnie the Pooh gave us the, Winnie the Pooh is the reason I have the courage. <laughs> this is the thing. And look, look, no, 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 no. Because I can feel this happening. I can feel this happening. I finally have a good one. I finally have a good point <laughs> and a good subject. Go and ahead. all you've done is deflect, <laughs> distract, divide. Okay. You, when in the history? You, you could feel they, me. You could you could when, feel me having some good points and you were like, ooh, let me hit him with <laughs> a little quip real quick. When in the history of you knowing me have I been helpful? Look. I'm just saying. Not on this podcast. I'm a very nice person. And I hope people know that. And if you don't know that, that's your own fucking problem. I'm a nice lady, okay? The, the, yeah. You you do this thing sometimes <laughs> where you talk about how nice you are, but then you you add an extra layer that, <laughs> that kind of takes away a layer. It's kind of a negative to a positive where you're like, hey, if you don't know that, you could go straight to hell. And it's like, well, that you, doesn't... that I not- understand what you're saying as someone who knows you, <laughs> yes. but from the outside looking in, that doesn't that that doesn't help. Did you, you not know? see my IG, my IG story uh, the other day was... No, it was Monday. It was today I had a therapy session. Mm-hmm. I worked out. Mm-hmm. And I thank the Lord for my daily scripture. You niggas are in trouble. Yeah, see, but you know what it is? It's like... It's like if a rapper, what you do is a lot like if a rapper had a good rhyme going, yeah, and then and then ended it like a real good flow, right? Like a yeah. da, 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 like you're rocking with it, right? Yeah. And then in the last line, he's like, "Yeah, I love you so to your head to your foot." It's like <laughs> you had us, you fully had us, and then you, you know what I mean? <laughs> I could have been head to toe, but I said head to foot. You could have been head to toe, mm-hmm. head to foot. So I understand what you meant. Listen. But I'm saying the way it sounds. Oh, I'm fully aware of how I sound. But then that's just mm-hmm. funny to me. Like, instead of saying I digress, I say I digest just to see who catches it. Yeah. No, okay. I'm with you. So, I just, I just, I feel like in this, this has been the one that I've looked forward to the most because this is the one where I feel like the audience can hear me. They can feel me and they elitist. can see me. It's elitist. It's elitist. Y'all elitist. think that y'all are doing that much better because you are willing to pay more money for the right re- regular shit. You know what? I have not been fair to you. I want you to make your points because I'm not, I'm not, I'm not been helping. Make your it's, points, man. It's, it's not about the price is being more. I never like paying more, especially if it's for the same thing. I know that these big box companies get all their sourced goods from the same like five places. I'm saying Target ends up being better because Walmart is too busy being chaotic. All right. It's not necessarily about the prices. It's not even always about the product. OK, because I've had plenty of things that I've bought from Target fall apart immediately and then I had to return them. And that that also happens. I'm just saying that, like, the levels of which we're, we're, we're getting too much in a Walmart. OK, like the Walmart I went to when I was in college, we went to because we were bored. That is not a good clientele. You don't yes. want a bunch of bored teenagers 
in your store just killing time, all right? It's going to yes. bring down the quality of the experience for other customers. It's not bringing down the quality of experience because you know what I hate is when I'm going to Target and I see somebody calculating what's in their cart knowing they can't fucking pay for it. That mm. disrupts my quality of my time because mm. it's like you never want to see people have to negotiate with the things that they need. Now, this is the other thing about a Target. You're seeing people, people negotiate for things that they truly don't need. Mm. You don't need that other bath mat. You have a bath mat. Just wash your bath mat. You don't need a new one. You don't need a $30 fucking bath mat. The bath mat you have is fine. Just wash it. You don't need half the things in your cart when you get, because when you get home from Target, you're always like, where am I going to put this shit? That's always what happens when you come up from a Target. Now, as somebody who did go to Walmart when I was bored and has photos mm -hmm. from being in a Walmart mm -hmm. from co in college, when I was bored, what I found out is Walmart employees enjoy you putting on all the fishing gear and pretending to fish with your friends in the aisle. They'll take a picture of that. They'll let you hold on to the Daisy BB gun mm. and put on all the hunting gear while you're pretending to hunt the singing deer that's mounted on this plaque in the hunting section of okay. this country-ass Walmart. Walmart knows what Walmart is. Walmart employees know if you come in here, because like the number of times we thought that we were going to be asked to leave a Walmart because I was pretending to chase my friend with a chainsaw. And they were like, hey, you want us to take a picture? Yeah, of course. Here's the camera. Thank you so much. Walmart knows what Walmart is. Nobody's going up in a Target and have a good time when they're bored. Because guess what? Target closes too early to get that bored clientele. Because I'm going to tell you, we never walked out without buying something. You don't fuck around in a Walmart. I mean, you can't fuck around in a Walmart and not buy anything. But mm. Walmart employees are always like, yeah, okay. While Target, on the other hand, is like, hey, can I help you? No, bitch, you can't help me. Okay? <laughs> Let me put on all this hunting gear. <laughs> you can't be getting upset about help. <laughs> It's the wet. Listen, you're a black person. Mm. You've had people aggressively ask you if you mm. needed assistance because they're trying to make sure you're not stealing. Mm -hmm. Bitch, I'm in pajama pants. No, I'm not stealing because there's nothing at the bottom to hold in the stolen goods. Oh, but if 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 that happens to me, I just put them to work. If, some, if somebody rolls up on me and they're like, oh, hey, do you need some help? And they're looking me up and down trying to make sure I'm not stealing anything. I'm like, oh, thank goodness you're here. <laughs> and then, I'll take up their entire shift. I don't give a damn. <laughs> Cancel all of my shows. They'll I'm be, in this Walmart. I'm they'll be with church. me all day. I'll just I'll be like, what do you think the difference is between a yellow bell pepper and an orange bell pepper? And they'll be like, ah. I'm like, let's look it up. Let's look. Let's Google it together. Like that's just take, more devious. Than yeah. Anything. No. I hey, if you if you want to roll with me, you roll with me. Go. I've done that before. I was in. Uh, I was down at Santee Alley, so like the L.A. Fashion District or whatever. Mm -hmm. fashion district mm -hmm. and i'm in this store and it was like makeup and different stuff in there like makeup and like different accessories and earrings and shit and there are two women in there with their children and they are obviously stealing <laughs> to anyone who's ever worked in a retail store they are obviously <laughs> fucking stealing <laughs> truly <laughs> They got uh, stuff on the kids. They are fu they're, I don't know if they're starting a business. Oh they are God. obviously fucking stealing. Oh my God. But the oh guy no. who ran the oh place, no. the guy who ran the place, him and his wife, mm -hmm. anytime I would touch something. So he's following me through the store mm -hmm. while I'm watching two women with their children obviously fucking steal. So I was like, you know what? I'm running interference. I'm going to let these bitches rob this man blind. So what I started doing is I walked through the store and I would just take something off and then just drop it on the ground. Mm. Or I would take something and take it off and then put it back in a different place because he was, adjust he was anything. I looked at something, he would adjust. And I just went, cause I went, are you following me? But now he tried to act like he didn't speak English. Oh, nigga, you don't speak <laughs> English. These bitches are stealing. We're about to be a problem in here. So I just started moving shit. I'm dropping stuff on the floor. And then I'm watching them continue to openly steal. <laughs> dropping things in a bag. Dropping things in a oh stroller. Handing something to their child so that they can put in the stroller. It's a family of crime.
the last thing that I'll say on on my end of Walmart versus Target is uh, there's too much. There's almost too much. We can't even fit it into an hour and a half show if we were to do that of uh, the drawbacks of Walmart. And I, I would say I would refer Give me people, three. Give me three. For lack of a better word, clientele. All right. There's been quite a fight and quite a quite a theft and a quite quite an overall chaotic situation. I remember there are times that I'm I'm literally going in Walmart to get in and get out. I just got my grapes. I got whatever fruits, whatever veggies I wanted. And mm-hmm. I'm just watching something happen down the because you also made the place too big because now the Walmart as a whole is a city and cities are going to have their levels of crime and their levels of uh, of chaos. Right. OK. Um, then I think that even though it's cheap. The price point is still not fantastic for what the thing actually is. So but you why made the point. But why would we be rolling back prices? What you mean? Because what they do is is a it's a tactic where they tell you they've rolled it back, but you never actually saw that initial price in the first place, right? So they'll be like, "We've rolled back prices from eight ninety nine to six ninety nine. But then when you actually look at the thing and you pay attention, it was never eight ninety nine in the store. They just marked it up so they could mark it down, which is the price that they wanted to pay the entire time. Oh, yeah. I had a jewelry business. I would do that. So if yeah. something was like $15, I'd be like, oh, it's 20 but for you, it's 15 That's why I never then, put prices on anything. Yeah. There we go. Then, last thing, I think um, the add-ons are actually negatives, okay? the what? Some of the photo shoots, some of the extra sandwich businesses that are inside of Walmarts actually decrease the value for me. You know what I saw at Walmart the other day? What? I saw Claire's in a Walmart and I was like, shout out to Claire's. They're like, we're not going out of business. Yeah. Fuck y'all. These malls Claire's. are dying. These malls are dying, but these Walmarts thriving. Yeah. Even though Walmart sells the little accessory nonsense mm-hmm. that a Claire's has, mm-hmm. it doesn't have the depth of the accessory nonsense mm-hmm. that a Claire's has. Also, you got your daughter with her you anyway. Yeah, let her get her ears pierced. She's nine. I feel like Target has just enough, okay? They have just enough that I can get what I need, and it's not crazy. I don't have to go through a bunch of aisles. I actually don't need as much help. Target has a system in place that I don't think Walmarts have, or at least not all of them, where you can walk up to a little um, like kiosk type thing on certain aisles. You type in what you need and they will tell you what aisle it's on and what section. And what? that's something that Walmart has not had. I thought Target just has the price scanners. I don't even know what you're talking about. So Walmart also has the price scanners. But if you if you go up to certain sections in a Target, this is in a lot of the Targets in New York City, and you just type in what you need, it's it's the same thing as the website, but it's for the store. So I'll then tell you when this. you type it in, it'll tell you like aisle five, row two, whatever. The thing is, it's easier for a New York Walmart to do, I mean, a New York Target to do that mm-hmm. because a New York Target only has five items in it. I've tried to get shoes out of a New York oh, Target and shade. I was like and I was the like, hate. no, 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 no. It's not shade. I was literally in a I tried to go get and I was like, I need some new shoes. Mm-hmm. And I was like, I was in a hurry and I couldn't find a DSW that was close to where I was. So I was like, you know what? A Target. A Target. Let me walk on this beach and try to find something to keep my feet off the ground. Mm-hmm. And I got to the shoe section and there was literally only 20 pairs of fucking shoes. And I looked at the girl and I said, where are the rest Mm -hmm. of the shoes? Because all of the targets in New York, in the city, like in Manhattan, are like abbreviated, reduced down. Yeah, that's very true, actually. That's that's. (laughs) Why even make the store? There's only 20 pairs of shoes in here. Where the fuck is the rest of the store? So mm-hmm. if you, so that's like, like that's another, I was like, I hate that. Do you know what I do if I want to go to a Target? Hmm. I go 25 minutes out to fucking Flushing because it's a whole store. It's got the big red balls in front to make sure you don't drive through that bitch and steal their TVs. It has whole, <laughs> what'd you think them red balls was for? It's to stop somebody had, from driving. I had never, I had honestly never thought about what they were for. And this makes perfect sense. It's I'd rather the- them be for that. 
that's exactly what they're for. Yeah. That's why a lot of stores, like big box stores, because like Walmart, some of them will have those pillars in front of them too. <laughs> it's so you don't drive in their fucking store. Also, not even to steal their shit. It's just so you don't drive in the store. Because mm-hmm, it's happened enough now. Right. Where they're like, hey, how do we stop mm-hmm. this, but it, make it aesthetically pleasing? Um, mm-hmm. Put giant balls in front of the store that will destroy most vehicles if they drive into them. So, I understand that Walmart is the Waffle House of stores. I'm fully aware. I I appreciate that. I'm fully aware of what she is, who she is, and what she's doing. Yeah. But, if I'm trying to furnish an entire apartment, I had to furnish, I had to literally buy dishes, cups, you know, everything Mm -hmm. that you have to have as a person... When you live indoors, right? You gotta have TV, you gotta put something to put the TV on. You gotta have hangers mm-hmm. to put your clothes up. All these things. I furnished my whole apart. I got not furnished, but, but like I, I guess it's not furniture. What's the, what's, if it's not furniture, what's it when you're like putting stuff in an apartment, like the pots and the pans and the, you know, what, what's well, that? I guess you, I, I mean, I think you're still furnishing. Cause right. you're, yeah. I spent, I had two buggies full. I might have spent $400, three, $400 mm-hmm, mm-hmm. to get everything I needed. I bought an air mattress because I had nothing in this apartment. Yeah, yeah. I spent 300 for it. I know if I would have bought those same things mm-hmm. at a Target, mm-hmm. I would have spent twice as much. Okay, so how about this? We're going to kick it to you, the listener. And this is, these are the last things that I'll say before I I rest it with all of you. Um, my last and final, you know, checkmate of a position. I understand that some people like Walmart for the entertainment value and everything and for the price point, but you need only go to people of Walmart to see what I'm talking about. That's right? your only. That's not my only. I'm just saying it's my last. Uh, I, I definitely can concede that, uh, there are targets that might as well not even be stores. There are targets where there are six things on sale and only two of them are here. But yes. I I think that you're you're leaning one way or the other. We're either leaning towards these uh, drawbacks of the super center, which yes, it has everything, but like at what cost, how long are you gonna be in there? No one is helpful, or not no one, but usually no one. Right. Or the tiny store that uh, hopefully has an entire section of the thing that you'd think they'd have. Like, I remember one time I went to one of the tiny ones, and they yeah. didn't have, I don't think they had any mouthwash at all. And I was like, okay, well, then don't make this a, like a pharmacy-type section then. Right. Like you, like, you have the toothbrushes. You have the floss. Don't do this now, right? You have the toothpaste, um, but you don't have mouthwash. Like, who lives this way? Like, that's yeah. why Like the I went to, like, two different Manhattan Targets, and I was like, and I hate to ever say this, but a plague upon both your houses is really how I felt when I yeah. walked out of the fucking store. So I know, oh, I have to go to a Target in Queens. Mm-hmm. I have to go to where the people are, meaning mm-hmm. the suburbs. I have to go to Target in the fuck, like Target in the suburbs. Yeah. Just like when I found like the H Marts that are in Manhattan, like H Mart. It was just it was just sold the ready made food, and that was it. And I was like, no, I'm here for the full H Mart experience. Don't do this to me. But I realized that New York does not have the Super H Mart. Because the Super H Mart. Yeah, the Super is, H Mart is amazing. It's a, it's a Kroger. It's a Kroger. And I'm just like, yes, come through. Come through, H, Super H Mart. Okay, yeah. they got the samples. It's me and Ajuma. I'm out here tasting shit. Ema, we out here eating things. Okay, once they see my cart. Now we're walking hand in hand through the store, right? Mm -hmm. She's helping me get the good kimchi. Like, oh, you're making kimchi pancakes? Well, that means you got to get the older kimchi because you need more of that fermentation. We having conversations. We hanging out. Her son is in school. I hope he's doing well. You know what I mean? Super H Mart. I appreciate all of you listening. We appreciate you being listeners. We appreciate your opinions. I I felt that. I felt that. Don't do that. (laughs) I felt it. You don't think I felt that? Huh? You don't we, think I felt it when you just did what you did? We want you to tell us what you think. Are you team Walmart, team Target? Do you go for the Super Center or the little quick self-checkout experience that uh, I guess Targets are doing? It is really wild. It's like it's like 
it might as well some of these targets might as well be a CVS. But I still think that they offer my life more stability than the Walmarts did. Okay, that's I just, I just I can't listen. It's very rare as a child that I would see a closed Walmart. Yeah, but things need to close. No, 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 no. That, no. Like, I mean, close as in like shut down. Oh, oh, I'm sorry. I thought business. you meant for the night. Yeah, they should. I mean, I think it. All, I think honestly, any 24 hour place is just asking for trouble. I mean, we've all heard that nothing good happens after midnight. Um, yeah. Unless you are in a Target in Gainesville, Georgia. I feel like this is my tomato soup. You know what I mean? Because a lot of people are going to be like, but Dulce, you're a learned person. Mm -hmm. Why are Mm -hmm. you... Associating yourself. Associating yourself in the Walmart. And I will tell you, I one of my favorite things to do on the road Mm -hmm. is to go to Walmart. So we want you to check out between your friends and you, how you feel about this. Open up this conversation to the people in your life. Maybe open it up in a Walmart or a Target, you know? And what I don't want you to do is don't be uppity about it, okay? Don't judge people. Don't be like, hey, listen, what is your preference, okay? Don't Um, Walmart shame people. Yeah, yeah. And I want people out there to value themselves. I want you to value yourself and I want you to take care of yourself. I want you to ask what what would be an easier day for you? You know, because maybe you are in a closer proximity to a Walmart. Who knows? But um, if you are looking to check us out on the socials, you can find me at Josh Johnson Comedy on Instagram, TikTok and YouTube. Uh, I also have a podcast called The Josh Johnson Show where I tell stories and chat with friends. And then... If you're looking for Dulce, I'm in these streets. Um, sometimes, uh, yeah, I'm. I've got my stuff on my socials. I've got some shows coming up. December second, I'm going to be at the Arlington Draft House with Lace Larrabee, and December the and uh, December the ninth, I'm going to be at the Creek in the Cave with Lace Larrabee. Listen, uh, we're just here to be as helpful as we possibly can, and um, call your mama, and if you can't, call your daddy. And if it, you know what? Phone a friend. See how your friend's doing. Check on your strong friend. Mm Mm-hmm. That's Mm -hmm. what I'm saying. And have a good weekend. Bye! Suckers.